uh, concerns over the conditions in factories like the one that collapsed in Bangladesh has many asking whether lives are being put at risk for the sake of keeping costs low and whether consumers will be willing to pay more if it means improved conditions for these factory workers. Joining me now with more on all of this is Jeff Hermanson of the International Union League for Brand Responsibility. And Jeff, I guess to put it simply, there is a high cost for these low prices. That's right. And consumers don't really want the blood of garment workers on their clothing. Uh, we like low prices, but not at the cost of a thousand garment workers crushed in a building collapse. Jeff, uh, I, I, you, so, you're, you're probably on top of this stuff. This is not the first time this has happened in Bangladesh. I mean, there's been cases where people have been locked in these buildings. There's been fires. They've been jumping out of windows. Um, this tends to go on, and then, then people kind of forget about it, and then they still go and they see something on sale. What would you tell the consumers about how, how they can take a step in the right direction on this issue? Well, they can talk to these uh, brands. When they go into the retailers' uh, stores, they can tell the brands that they don't want them sourcing from factories that are exploiting these workers the way they are doing right now that uh, the workers need the right to organize unions, they need decent wages, and most of all, they need safe conditions. And the, the brands have the opportunity right now to engage in a program to sign a building safety and fire safety agreement that Calvin Klein and Tommy Hilfiger have already signed, and the German brand Chibo. And uh, we're calling upon H&M and Gap Walmart and Sara to sign this agreement that will create a program that will inspect these buildings, that will train the workers and managers to know what to look for so that the building doesn't collapse around them, and hopefully to have the freedom to organize so they can't be intimidated into going into a building with cracks in the wall, which is what happened at Rana Plaza. Bangladesh has the world's lowest minimum wage, about $37 a month. Um, what can be done to raise those uh, wages as well? And, and should there be more pressure put on the Bangladeshi government to, to do more, a better job in terms of policing this? Absolutely. There should be freedom of association so workers can organize and get higher wages. The workers in Bangladesh have responded to this They've been awakened by this. There are four million of them. They've been in the streets in the hundreds of thousands. And I believe they will be the force that is going to improve conditions in the industry in Bangladesh. But the government has a role to play. They've got to guarantee these international uh, rights to organize a union and to bargain with their employers. And the brands also have to insist that their suppliers recognize the international conventions of the International Labor Organization and permit freedom of association in these factories. Jeff, I know you've been at the forefront of this for quite a while. Is this the tipping point? I mean, we've seen these disasters before, but, to, but never to this degree. Is this, is this the one that's going to make a difference, you think? I believe so. This is like the Triangle Shirtwaist disaster in 1912 in the United States. This is the point at which workers and the general public realize that things have to change. We cannot accept the murder of workers, innocent young girls, uh, just incredibly ho under horrible conditions. Uh, we can't allow that to go on. We've got to do something. The consumer can do something. But most of all, the brands have to take responsibility for the conditions in the factories where their goods are being made. Jeff Hermanson joining us live from Las Vegas this evening. Thanks so much.